worship him this morning. Give him glory. All everything we say about him is great. Everything we know about him is great. Everything we pray about him is great. Everything we shout about him is great. He's a great and mighty God. He's here to do great things around us. He's about to do great things. We acknowledge you, we are the sons of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, the Christ. Thank you for being in my heart. We are created for you. But without you, our life would be no way. Without you, our life would be no way. Father, we are grateful. Thank you for being in my life. We give you all the glory. Thank you, all the world. We worship you. We magnify you. Blessed be your name, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are worship the Lord. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are worship the Lord. Amen. Amen. Say, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus I position myself, I position myself for, your blessing. for your blessing tonight. tonight. In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, name of I position Jesus. myself I for, your blessing. for your blessing tonight. tonight. In the name of Jesus, name of begin Jesus. to talk to the Lord. Your blessing, your blessing that make rich and heart grow sorrow. Your blessing that make rich and heart grow sorrow. I position myself, I position my family, I position my life, my children, my family, everything that concerns me. I position myself for your blessing, for the appearing of your privilege, for the appearing of your blessing, for the outpouring of your reign, your reign of blessing. Upon me this morning, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the release of your blessing. Thank you for the release of your blessing. Thank you for the release of your blessing. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise, Lord, for you are a great and mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to give God all the glory for this privilege and this opportunity. Amen. It's by His grace that I'm alive today. Amen. And I live to worship Him. Hallelujah. Amen. I live to praise Him. He's an amazing God. Amen. He's done wondrous things. He's done marvelous Hallelujah. things. He's done what no man can do. Amen. I give Him all the glory Amen. and I give Him all the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate God for this privilege to stand before God's people. And to bring forth his word, I want to thank God for our daddy and mommy. Thank you so much for this privilege. Let's celebrate Jesus for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank God for all the great and great men and women of God in the house this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. This Amen. evening, let's celebrate Jesus. Amen. Come on, let's celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18. The Bible says, But the path of the just is as the shining light. How many just do we have in the house this evening? Hallelujah. The path of the just is like a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Tonight, God is about to release his blessings upon us. And I know that when you're blessed, you can never be caused. Hallelujah. Amen. When God blesses you, it remains permanent. Hallelujah. Amen. So the blessing of God is about to come upon us this morning, upon our family, upon everything that concerns us. <laughs> and when God's hand rests upon you, it affects every area of your life. Hallelujah. Amen. When the hand of God rests upon you, it affects every area of your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 18 from verse 12 to 15. 1 Samuel chapter 18 from verse 12 to 15. God was telling us what happened in the life of David because his hand was upon David. Because the hand of the Lord was upon David, his enemies became afraid of him. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 1 Samuel chapter 18, I mean, uh, yeah, chapter 18 from verse 12. The Bible says, Now Saul was afraid of David because the Lord was with him. 
but had departed from Saul. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore Saul removed him from his presence and made him his captain over a thousand. And he went out and came in before the people. And David behaved wisely in all his ways. And the Lord was with him. The Lord is with you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Verse 15. Therefore, when Saul saw that he had behaved very wisely, he was afraid of him. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your enemies will be afraid of you. Amen. Because the hand of God will rest upon you today. Amen. Your enemies will be afraid of you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, sickness is an enemy. Poverty is an enemy. Praise the Lord. Anything that does not bring glory to the name of the Lord is an enemy to your life. And tonight, because of the hand of God, because of the presence of God that will rest upon you, your enemy will be afraid of you. In the name of Jesus, every plan of the enemy against you will fall. Every plan of the enemy against you will fail. You know, let me tell you something. Amen is not an encouragement to the preacher. It's just a stamp. Praise the Lord. It's a stamp. You know when you give somebody, if you issue an, a check and you don't sign it, that check is as good as nothing. Praise the Lord. Amen is a signature to say, Father, so shall it be. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So if, you, if you're keeping quiet, is is the every prayer, every prophecy is coming back to me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say every enemy of your destiny, all their plans concerning you will fail. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because of the hand of the Lord that will rest upon you today. Amen. Every enemy of your destiny, I don't care where they are coming from. It might be from your father's side. It might be from your mother's side. It might be from your healer's side. Anybody that stands as your enemy. Any situation that is positioning themselves as your enemy. Because of the presence of God that is coming upon you tonight. They shall fail. In the name of Jesus. The Bible said David behaved himself wisely. You know when the presence of God comes upon you. It gives you wisdom. It gives you divine direction. It helps you to behave wisely. The presence of God does not come with foolishness. Hallelujah. Amen. When the presence of God comes upon you, you receive the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Because David behaved himself wisely. Hallelujah. Amen. His enemy was afraid of him. The Bible says even when he behaved himself wisely, he became more afraid of him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the, the, the wisdom of God put, put you above your enemies. The wisdom of God puts you above your enemies. We need the wisdom of God. As children of God, we need the wisdom of God. In this world that we are in, we, we need the wisdom of God. In every aspect that you are operating from, as a wife, as a, as a husband, as a father, as a child, you need the wisdom of God in any area. Tonight, as the hand of God rests upon you, you will be endowed with the wisdom of God. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will release his wisdom upon you. In the name of Jesus. In the book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 16. Matthew chapter 10 verse 16. The Bible says, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Just like I said, in this world that you're in, you need the wisdom of God. Because you're sheep and there are many wolves around you. You need the wisdom of God to be able to put the wolves where they belong. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Therefore, be as wise as serpents and as innocent as doves. Hallelujah. Yes. The wisdom of God will help you to put the wolves where they belong. Because you'll be as wise as serpents. Hallelujah. Yes. You know, you know, serpents? You know, serpents? When they, call, when they say you are wise as serpents, that means you're gentle, but you are fire. Hallelujah. Amen. Not nothing, nothing can just cross your path anyhow and go scot free because you are as wise as a serpent. Tonight, the Lord will release his wisdom upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It was the wisdom of God that made David to be outstanding. Praise the Lord. The Bible says Saul, he got to a state that Saul was afraid of David and he was running away from David. Praise the Lord because of the presence of God. 
because of the presence of God. When the presence of God comes upon you, your enemy will not be able to stand. They will not be able to stand at work, anywhere they position themselves. All you need is his presence. And once his presence comes upon you, you are endowed with his wisdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God will give you sound judgment. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 In the book of Psalms chapter 1, Psalms chapter 1 from verse 1. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Psalms chapter 1 verse 1, the Bible says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. That is wisdom. That is wisdom. Praise the Lord. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. That is the presence of God. When you are, when you are endowed with the presence of God, all you need is, all you want is more of him. More of him. Hallelujah. Yeah. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law that he meditate day and night. He said, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That is prosperity. Hallelujah. Yeah. When the presence of God comes upon you, he endows you with his wisdom. Then you begin to prosper. Hallelujah. You begin to prosper. Anything you lay your hands upon become it turns to prosperity. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It doesn't matter who has done it before and failed. Amen. Because you are carrying the presence of God, your case is different. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. And bring forth his fruit in a season on time blessing. You don't need to struggle too hard. Just little effort and breakthrough all over. That will be your portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bring forth his fruit in a season. His leaf does not wither. And whatever he does prospers. Whatever he does prospers. I want you to stretch for your two hands. Look at your hands and say, my hand. From today, I declare prosperity. In the name of Jesus. Everything I touch will prosper. Everything I lay my hands on will prosper. In the name of Jesus. My hands from today. Everything I lay you on must prosper in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare prosperity upon my hands in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In the book of Third John, verse 2. Third John, verse 2. The Bible says, I wish above all things that you prosper. God himself is saying, I wish above all things mm -hmm. that you prosper. It is, a, it is a delight in the heart of God for, for us to prosper. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, above every other thing, mm -hmm. I know you're saved. He has saved you. He has delivered you. His blood has washed you clean. He said, above everything, I want you to prosper. Amen. That in this world, you will walk in prosperity. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. He said, and be in health. Even as your soul prospers. In the name of Jesus. That will be your portion. That will be your portion. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When God is with you, prosperity flows. When God is with you, you're successful. Hallelujah. You know, our great example is Joseph. God was with Joseph. In the book of Genesis 39. The presence of God was with Joseph. I think all of us know the story of Joseph. Hallelujah. Amen. The presence of God was with Joseph. Even from his, his, his young age, his, the hand of God was upon him. Nothing could stand on his way. Even his siblings tried. But God showed himself faithful. Hallelujah. Amen. The presence of God was with Joseph. He endowed him with his blessing. He endowed him with his, with his presence, with his wisdom. That was why he could not sin against God. When he fall into when he, when he when he saw himself in that trap with Potiphar's wife, he said, How can I do this and sin against God? Hallelujah. Amen. Nobody was there, it was just him and Potiphar's wife. He could have done it and said, Nobody is seeing me. Let me just do it and clean my mouth. But he said, How can I do this and sin against God? Because he was very conscious 
of the presence of God. When you're conscious of the presence of God you carry, it will be very hard for you to fall into sin. Because his wisdom will guide you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight, the presence of God will cause you to prosper. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because of the presence of God that is upon you tonight, prosperity will be the order of the day for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In your academic, you will prosper. Amen. In your marriage, you will prosper. Amen. You know when we talk about prosperity, it's not only money. Sometimes people think when you say prosperity is money, money, money. No, it's not only money. An idea is prosperity. Just one connection. Praise the Lord. You know it's not everything that money can buy. Praise the Lord. It might just be one relationship that will change your life. That is prosperity. Praise the Lord. Tonight the Lord will prosper you. He will prosper you. He will prosper you in the morning. He will prosper you in the no time. He will prosper you in the evening. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Another blessing that God wants to release upon us is on our pathways. On our pathways. In the book of that, that scripture that we read, Proverbs 4 verse 8, in the Bible says, the path of the just is like a shining light. It shines brighter and brighter even unto the perfect day. God wants to prosper our paths. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He said, your word is the light unto my path. Praise the Lord. The word of God brings light unto our paths. It's a blessing from the Lord. That when you're walking, you're not stumbling. You know, some people in life, they're just stumbling. Every step they take, they're stumbling. They, are, they stumble in marriage. They stumble in business. They stumble everywhere. Because their path is not lighting up. Praise the Lord. When your path is lighting up, it's just like now. When and nobody, everybody can walk here and not stumble. You don't need to bump into chairs because you can see. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So sometimes spiritual blindness can cause stumble. That can cause you to stumble. Praise the Lord. Amen. But tonight God is going to shine his light on you. Amen. And when the light of God comes upon you, you will not stumble. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And you know when your ways are clear, you can progress. Amen. You can make progress. You can, you can do new things. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because your ways are clear. Hallelujah. Because you can see. Hallelujah. Amen. Every spiritual blindness will remove it tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every spiritual blindness in this nation, we command it to go. Amen. We declare light. Amen. We declare light. Amen. We declare light. Amen. We declare light Amen. upon this nation. Light. Amen. Let the light shine. Amen. The Bible says light shines in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend it. Amen. We command light to shine upon this nation. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah 45 from verse 1 to 3. Isaiah 45 from verse 1 to 3. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Bible said, Thus said the Lord to his anointed, to Rachel, whose hand I have held, to subdue nations before her, and lose the hammer of kings, to open before her the double doors. Wow. Doors are opening for you. Amen. Because God is holding your hands. Doors are opening for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I said, doors are opening for you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So that the gates will not be shut. Amen. Oh my God. Every gate that has been shut against you, tonight they will be open. In the name of Jesus, Amen. they will be open. Because God himself is holding your hand. When God is holding your hand, you are not afraid of any closed door. Because he is the way maker himself. Hallelujah. Amen. He parted the Red Sea. What can he not open? Doors are opening for you. Amen. Because God is holding your hand. Amen. No door shall be shut against you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I say doors are opening for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. He will go before you. Amen. He will make the concrete places straight. Amen. He will break in pieces the gate of bronze. Amen. And cut the bars of iron asunder. He will give you the treasures of darkness Hallelujah. and hidden riches of secret places Amen. that you will know that the Lord who has called you by your name is God. Hallelujah. Amen. The God of foundation ministry is God. 
Amen. He has called us by our names and he will open the doors for us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Doors of nations are open. Amen. Doors of nations are open for us. Amen. Doors of nations are open for us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You know when mommy was talking she, she mentioned high places. High places. That's what the Bible promised us. He said we will sit among kings and not ordinary people. He will take us before kings. We will sit among kings. That is our place because we are the one ruling and we are supposed to sit in high places. Hallelujah. From today, your seat will change. In the name of Jesus, your seat will change. The Lord will take you to the high places. In the name of Jesus. At your workplace, they will not take any decision without asking you. They will say, what do you think? What, what do you think we can do in this case? And you will give them wise counsel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the Lord is holding your hands. Because Jehovah is holding your hands. Because the, the one that has the key of David, that opens and no man can shut. And when he shuts, no man can open. He is the one holding your hands. He's holding your hands in that business. He's holding your hands in that in that job. He's holding your hands in that marriage. No door will be shut against you. In the name of Jesus. I say no door will be shut against you. Amen. Even the doors that you don't you don't even know, you have not even noticed. The Lord will open them for you. Hallelujah. 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 Another blessing that God wants to give to us is a blessing of people. Somebody say people. 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 Say people. Right, people. Hallelujah. God is bringing relationships your way. You know, those relationships that will, that will open doors. That will show you those things that you have been looking for for years. Hallelujah. He's giving you contacts. Yes, contacts. 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 Hallelujah. How many of you are receiving that? Yes. Contact. New contact. Yes. New contact. Yes. New contact. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. You remember Joseph when he was in that prison? It was that contact that mentioned his name before the prime minister. It was the contact. He ministered to somebody in the prison and he said, when you get there, please mention my name. Even though the man forgot, but the Holy Spirit reminded him. Say, oh, there was one man I met in the prison. Oh, I think he interpreted dreams. He will have died with his gift in the prison. Right. He will have perished with his talents. Do you have talents? Do you have giftings? You need contacts. Yes. For your giftings to come to limelight, you need contacts. Yes. And I declare, I decree over you this morning yes. that that contact that you need, that will blow you up, that will take you to that place where nobody can take you. That one contact, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ruth will have become nobody in her father's place if not for contact, if not for Naomi. Praise the Lord. Two of them had the opportunity, the two wives. The two daughters-in-law, they had the opportunity. They got the contact, but it was only Ruth that was sensitive and said, this is the contact that I need. I need this contact for my destiny. Hallelujah. Amen. And God changed your story. Yes, your story will change today. Amen. Because of the contact God is bringing your way, Amen. your story will change. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is what God is telling us. You have to be sensitive. It's not every contact that comes your way that might be from God. You have to be sensitive. Yes. That's why God gave us his spirit. Hallelujah. He gave us wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But you will not fall into wrong hands. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the book of Genesis 39 verse 21, the Bible says, The Lord was with him. He showed him kindness and granted him favor in the eyes of the prison warden. That was Joseph. The Lord was with him. And he gave him that one contact yes. that mentioned his name. In the, in, in the palace. Your name will be mentioned in the palace. The, your name will be mentioned in the palace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need people. You need people. You need people in your life. At every step you, you take, at every level you are in, 
You need people. People that will help you to fulfill destiny. You need people. A woman of God was preaching and she was talking about the relevant, the importance of people. He said, when you were born, it was people that delivered you. You could not deliver yourself. Praise the Lord. Even it took your mother to nurture you in the womb for you to be able to survive. Hallelujah. And when you were delivered, it took people to look after you. Even when your mother alone could not do it. Praise the Lord. When you, when you went to school, it took people to train you, to teach you. Praise the Lord. We need people in our lives. At every stage, you need people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will send right people your way. God will send right people your way. God will send right people your way. People that will help you to fulfill your destiny. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Hallelujah. The gift of people. We receive it in foundation ministries. Right people. In all our branches. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Second Chronicles chapter 15. As I wind up tonight. Second Chronicles chapter 15 from verse 1. Second Chronicles chapter 15 from verse 1 to 9. Hallelujah. The Bible said the Spirit of God came upon Azariah, son of Obed. He went out to meet Asa and said to him, Listen to me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. The Lord is with you. When you are with him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. Somebody said God is a businessman. God is a yes. businessman. Yes. He, he cannot sow and not reap. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If God has saved you, he's expecting something from you. Yes. He didn't save you for nothing. Mm -hmm. He has sown his seed in you. Mm -hmm. He's expecting harvest. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you go ahead and forsake him, he will forsake you. God will not forsake you. Amen. But don't forsake him. For a long time, Israel was without the true God, without a priest to teach, and without the law. But in their distress, they turned to the Lord, the God of Israel, and sought him, and he was found by them. Hallelujah. In those days, it was not safe to travel about, for all the inhabitants of the land were in great turmoil. One nation was being crushed by another, and one city by another. But God was troubling them with every kind of distress. Oh my God. But as for you, be strong and do not give up. Tell your neighbor, do not give up. Do not give Tell up. Tell somebody, be strong. Be strong. Do not give up. Do not give up. Do not give up. Do not give up. Be strong. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For your work will be rewarded. Yes. For your work will be rewarded. God is not unjust. He's able to, to give you back a million folds. All the labor that you have labored in his kingdom. Your work will be rewarded. Somebody say, my work will be rewarded. In the name of Jesus. When Asa heard these words and the prophecy of Azariah, son of Obed, the prophet, he took courage. He removed the data, the detestable idols from the whole land of Judah and Benjamin and from the towns he had captured. Hallelujah. Amen. He removed all the idols because God spoke to him. God is speaking to somebody this morning. Be encouraged because your labor is not in vain. Your labor is not in vain. Be, be, be encouraged. Hallelujah. Amen. Do not give up. Amen. Do not give up. Because it's very easy to give up. When you see challenges. When you see trouble. When you're not strong in the Lord. It's easy to give up. But because of the presence that is upon you this morning. Because of his hand that is resting upon you. Because of the wisdom of God you begin to operate in. You will not give up. Amen. You will not be weary. Amen. You will not be tired. Amen. You will not be weary. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Shall we rise up on our feet right now? As just receive this blessing. Let's just soak it in. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's receive this blessing upon our lives, upon our destiny. Hallelujah. Let's begin to ask God, Father, thank you for your presence upon me. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your wisdom that is upon me. Thank you for prosperity. Thank you for my path is shining. My path is shining brighter and brighter. My path is shining brighter and brighter. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for causing my enemy to be afraid of me. From now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the Kebo Shata Yele Kebo Soto Ya, the Abraham Shata Yele Kebo Soto, the Kebo Shoto Yele Kebo Soto, the Kaba Shata Yele Kebo Soto Ya. I'm not giving up. I'm not dying. Oh, my God is doing it again, just like before. I'm not giving up. I'm not going back. I'm going forward. I'm going to glory. From glory to glory. From glory to glory. Your prosperity. Thank you, Abba Father, for my part is shining brighter and brighter. Your glory is resting upon me. In the name of Jesus, is directed by you. In the name of Jesus, oh Hallelujah, our daughters, our brothers, you're my enemies before me. You're giving me victory, victory on every side, every victory on every side. Yes, Abba Shemesh, yes, Hashem, yes, Abba Shemesh, yes, break every stone, Abba Shemesh, yes, break every stone, Abba Shemesh. Remove every stone, Shadow. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord. Oh, in Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. You are God from 